Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to talk about the top three reasons why you should install custom firmware or hack your PSP console. And the PSP console is one of the easiest devices to install custom firmware and learn about homebrew. I think it's one of the best consoles to get started with and just to have fun. And when I first got this console, I thought it was just one of the best amazing handhelds ever because you could play games, music, movies go on the internet and it was just amazing so installing custom firmware just unlocks all sorts of fun stuff and just a better experience with this console coming in at number three we have plugins and themes some of these dynamic themes for the psp are just so incredible and props to all those creators that developed all this stuff and just made it so fun for us to have and all these themes are free you can find them online i'll have links to that stuff in the description down below along with the full playlist of PSP hacks and tutorials if you're interested in going through that and I also have uh, guides on how to install custom themes and plugins and when it comes to the plugins you can do all sorts of different fun stuff while you're going through your game you can uh, play music while you're gaming you can go through different settings go through the back settings recovery settings and all sorts of fun stuff some of the best plugins to name is like remote joy light where you can connect your psp to your pc and run your games on your monitor which is pretty cool there's also another plugin that allows you to select an older firmware to play and run other games on those firmwares that way if it's not working on the latest and greatest firmware you can run those games and just select something else that works for you and that only works for the ps1 games there's also another plugin that allows you to categorize your games and your applications and homebrew stuff in different folders and that way it's a much more cleaner much more organized interface coming in at number two we can run emulators and ps1 games how amazing is that so when it comes to the emulators you can run nes super nintendo you can run sega genesis game boy advance game boy color and the list goes on it's insane as far as the ps1 games go they work flawlessly we are missing that second analog but for the most part i don't have any issues and they just work great i play a lot of croc i play a lot of crash bandicoot i play all sorts of different fighting games uh, really old school fighting games like mortal kombat or bloody roar or marvel vs capcom and they just work great next up coming in at like 1.5 i know i said top three reasons but i wanted to kind of throw this in there a little bit and that is you can run imported games after you install custom firmware which is crazy and i've been having a lot of fun with these that i picked up recently and it's just great although i don't know what it means or what it says or what i'm doing but it's just really incredible to see something that was locked for a specific region now fully unlocked to play all sorts of games from europe and from japan so that is pretty cool and coming in at number one we have you can dump your PSP games and your PSP movies on your PSP console. How crazy is that? So you can basically copy all of your games that you own and all the movies that you own onto your memory card. So that is just incredible. There's this really cool application that allows you to do that. And I'll have that link in the description down below for you. And so you can just run all sorts of fun stuff this is just one of the best consoles to have imagine having a massive collection like 50 games and now you can run them all off a memory card you just have to have the space right and it's just incredible how much you can do on the psp and those are my reasons why you should install custom firmware on your console and i do have a full guide a full video on how to do that and all sorts of different guides too that i talk about different plugins different homebrew apps and all sorts of fun stuff so make sure to check out that playlist in the corner up here and make sure to subscribe and that way you don't miss a video like this or any uh, really cool guides in the future so those are my top reasons why you should hack your PSP console that way you can unlock the full potential of your PSP and have all sorts of fun so if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up it really helps me out a lot especially with the YouTube algorithm Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoy my content, please hit that subscription button here on my face.
and that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future. And if you're looking for PSP content, I have that playlist right here for you. And PS Vita content right down below, that full playlist. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one.